Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and I'm a little behind on the video. Um, this video was supposed to go out on uh, Sunday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I lose track of my days. Um, I actually wanted to just show you this pouch um, just because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is for a customer of mine. This is for, She actually wanted the cover for her LV GM. So you guys know that um, I make planner pouches, um, and if you don't know, then now you do. So um, I make them for different sizes, but um, back when COVID was here, a lot of the sizes, a lot of the yarn and the quality deteriorated. So, you know, I don't know what happened. Some, some yarn was a good quality, some wasn't. Uh, and I happened to find, I went and I found all of these um, good quality yarn that was from back in the day like um, we're talking two years ago so i was so so excited i so excited and i just keep falling. so <laughs> i was really happy so she ordered a couple colors sure this is the um oatmeal she also ordered the tan pink so i'm gonna put that together but i wanted to show you all right so if you guys are aware for the month of August, we are talking about back to school. Back to school is the theme for August. And also in addition to that, it's about getting organized with your life, you know, and, and with that means getting rid of clothes, decluttering your closets, going through your drawers. All of these things is it's really important for your mental health as well. So, you know, it, it all ties together. Think about it. If your house is clean, you have a good area where you can budget. Like you don't need to have an office. If you don't have an office and you don't have a desk, that is okay. For example, maybe you have to do your budgeting at the kitchen table, which is completely fine, but you don't want to have a bunch of dishes and everything all around it. So you want you want you want to have your space nice and organized. So you can, you can, you know, uh, continue with your thoughts and your lists and the things that you have to do in a clean area. I believe that it's super important to do. And because we're in the month of August, kids go back to school at the end of the month. Some kids go back to school in September. And I want to get you guys, um, you know, in a, in a good, in a good place, in a good mindset as well. So here are some of the things that I think I'd like to do and add to the to the calendar. So I printed this out. It's kind of itty bitty. I probably need my glasses. For today, for today, all of the budget, all of the budget planners are 50% off. You can use the code budget50, all one word, and you'll be able to receive 50% off each day. So if you decide to go to the um, if you want to go to the link, okay, go to my Instagram page, go to the link in my bio, and you're going to see all of the different sales, right? So you can download this, keep it at your side, take a look at it. Maybe there's things that you want to buy and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to wait uh, for the sale. Um, that's what it's there for. And we want to get people motivated into doing their budgeting. But most importantly, I want to get you guys motivated to getting organized. Okay. So one of the, one of the tasks, tasks over the weekend was to declutter your closet. And obviously that's a really big task. I did it and I was able to fill one, one trash bag of the black trash bags and the black trash bags are pretty large. I had a lot of clothes that I wasn't using that I don't fit. I mean, that's depressing as it is, right? You're just like, oh my God, these are super cute and everything is too small for you because you gained weight. Like, that's depressing, but these were really, really old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, these were a couple years old, okay? This is when I was working, so things happen. And so I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't wanna collect a bunch of clothes if I don't first of all, if I can't fit in them. Um, and one of the things I'm doing with my own, for my own self <laughs> is to, uh, walk on the treadmill for about 20 minutes every morning. 
um, eat my breakfast, maybe even grab a shake or my yogurt. Um, cause, because I'm always busy, I tend to just not, I'm always on the go, rush, 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 rush. We cannot live like that. We're not going to be able to live healthy lives if we don't take care of the things that we have to take care of. And uh, so, you know, it's okay to be busy. I mean, like, I get that being busy, being productive, but okay, we need to, we need to get things taken care of. So I got rid of a lot of clothes that I didn't need, especially the ones that we don't need. Now I like sweaters. I like cardigans and all those type of things. Um, so I did save a few, but I got a lot, I got rid of a lot of clothes that didn't fit me. So that was the task for this weekend, because I think like when you're decluttering, even do it for your children because they go through clothes so fast, so much that like, I bet you if you go through their, their closet and their drawers, half the stuff is like dirty, stained, or it might not fit them anymore. So these are all the things that you want to get rid of, you know? The next thing I want to do is my kitchen. So, um, okay, I'll back it up a little bit though. A couple weeks ago, we ended up moving all of the budget planners from the basement to my storage unit. And my basement was completely full of boxes. It was a hot mess. So we got rid of all the budget planners, um, brought them to the storage unit, and I was able to clean my basement, and it's nice and clean and organized. Like, it's just clean. It's a basement, um, but it has, like, those wall units you can put some boxes on, and I have, like, uh, coolers and, like, an old AC, you know, just stuff, Christmas stuff, and I put it underneath the stairs. So everything is just pretty much organized. Um, so that's, that was the first real major thing, decluttering thing that I really had to do task. I should say, um, I really had to do that. I was, I was getting really like OCD having all of these boxes in the basement. So the first thing was the basement we got all that, you know, cleaned up and stuff. And, um, the second thing was my bedroom. Now I could probably do another bag full, like I just talked about, but what I'd like to do is go through my kitchen. So I don't know about you guys, but I always seem to have so many pots and pans and half the pans like I now don't use. I have stuff that's in the dishwasher that's all dry and it's just there because <laughs> I don't want to put it away because I have no room. Um, so I want to go through, like I have a nice set of stuff. Like I have decent pots and pans that are fairly like, they're not from the Dollar Tree. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're a good you know, they're, they're well made, I should say. Um, so I am going to go through the last time I did the kitchen, I actually got rid of a bunch of coffee cups. I had a box and I had nothing but a ton of coffee cups. Have you ever gone to the store and just bought random coffee cups that have all of the wording on the outside back in the day? That was like the style <laughs> and everybody would post their cup on Instagram and be like, and you're holding your cup and it has, you know, I don't know. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Ah, it's so embarrassing. Well, anyways, um, I did get a lot of, I did get rid of, um, a lot of coffee cups. Okay. So let's just move on. So the moral of the story is, uh, for the month of August, we want to really focus on decluttering and getting ourselves together before the kids go back to school. So this is a perfect time to do it. Super duper hot outside. Put your AC on, relax, go through each, uh, each of the rooms and grab a trash bag. If there's stuff that you can actually donate, great. If there's stuff that you can actually sell, great. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so that is what I'm doing and I really want to inspire you guys to do the same thing. Okay, so... The first, uh, let's see, what else I wanted to say? The other thing too is, okay, so tomorrow is our cash stuffing week two. I went grocery shopping yesterday, but because I did not come to the shop, I wasn't able to do the YouTube video. I needed kind of like a break. I needed just to just put my phone away, just have that break. So today the budget planners are 50% off and we want, the title is fall back in love with your planners. So. It's just like fall back in love with budgeting, fall back in love with, you know, fall back, get it? You know, fall is next. So it's just a way to, you know, f do the things that you need to do to get back into that like desire that you had before to budget. Remember, we all go through those hurdles and trials and tribulations and stressors and, you know, get overwhelmed and we don't want to continue or we quit or we feel like it's not, you know, working the way it should be. Don't give up though. You know, you have, everybody has their own, you know, dreams. Everybody has their own system. Yeah. 
so we're everybody here everybody you know we're all on different paths we're on different levels some people are just completely brand new at budgeting and we don't always have to talk about budgeting and that's why I try to incorporate different like planning uh, you know organizing techniques or organizing products because budgeting itself still involves a good mindset it still involves you to be organized you can't just budget and you have no organization skills does that make sense you know what I mean so um, I want people to really take a look at what they're doing um, and like I said everyone's on different different levels what I mean by levels is that you could just be starting out. You probably are already are starting out. Maybe you just started your cash envelope system. Maybe you are really familiar with your cash envelope system, but you're now adding sinking funds. But you have a better handle on it, and you ha and you guys are all still really, you know, into it, into the, into continuing with your journey. I think it's extremely important for people to have the support system. So, as I said before, I do have a Facebook group. And I would love for you guys to head on over to the Facebook group. It is the same name, um, Christina Loves Planning, and join it. And like I have been talking so much, I'm telling people, please start the conversation. Talk about issues that you might be having. Engage. So that way other people can uh, jump in and also help you or, you know, be a part of the conversation. So tomorrow we have track your expenses every day. So uh, tomorrow you're gonna start to track your expenses. So maybe you're not tracking them, but these are just like little tips and things. And these are all different sales that are happening for the month of August. And the reason why is because I want you to get organized. I want you to get prepared. So I'm trying to give back to my customers with sales. And so that's what I usually do every month with the calendar, okay? So, in addition to that, I want you guys to know that I do have quite a bit of new items coming and I haven't talked about it yet, but as soon as I have a little bit more stuff finalized, I'm definitely going to be sharing with you and I might be able to share with you guys tomorrow on that. So, if you guys are, yeah, I know you're on, we're, we are on the YouTube platform, so if you uh, go on Instagram please follow me on Instagram because this is what we do. This is what I like to do on a daily basis. Every morning I list out what is on the calendar, what is new on the calendar. I list out motivational tips. And one of the new items that I will be adding to this is the product of the day. I think that because I have a lot of different products, I don't think that people know exactly what I have. And so I think it's a great way to, you know, product of the day it's you're just going to showcase all of the different products that I have and so people can actually see along with all of the tips and tricks with budgeting okay so motivation is super important you cannot be successful if you are not motivated to make those changes I understand we all go through like the budget funk or in general just depression with life or maybe things are just not going as planned as you expected. Please do not give up. I know that what I'm saying is probably you don't care, but I want you to care because I've been there before where I used to be depressed and etc. And we all have our different like reasons why we've been depressed, but and I understand and we, there's all so many different reasons why I get it. Maybe you don't have the income right now coming in, but make your list if you one of the things is if you get organized you have faith and you try hard you know what the universe is going to come back and give you what you want they're going to answer you if you don't do anything about it and you don't make your list you don't try to make the changes you don't have the faith you know unfortunately i don't think that's going to bring good vibes back um so try to th be on a different a different you know wavelength and try to try to just think about the good things in life and think about you know what this is what i want to do with my life and moving forward i would like to try this this a b c d i'm going to start making out my list i'm going to clean out my closet let's go 
and you could even do it like with a family, you know, with the kids. Okay, let's go through the kitchen. Let's go through the, the closets and get rid of the things that you do not need. Okay, so let me know if you guys do do it. I would love to hear your journey. Maybe you can even share some pictures with me. Okay, all right, good. I hope that makes you feel better. What I, what I do want to share very quickly is that um, all of the budget planners that we have in the shop, again, are 50% off. But what I'd like to say is that all of the budget planners have the same set of inserts inside them. Okay, so they are all completely the same inside. The only difference is, is the size of them. So I'm just going to fix the camera. Okay, just, all right, there we go. So that's the only thing that is different is the size. Oh. By the way, another thing too is all of the caddies will be here. The black is on the way, pink had to be remade because of their error, and cream is also being made. So we will probably by the end of August have all of the caddy colors, okay? And that's huge. I cannot wait for that. Um, I cannot wait for that. There's just so much I cannot wait to share with you guys. Um, the 52 week boxes, which is this right here. Um, these are, this is completely made. These are not pre-made by like, whatsoever. Um, I took, I took this acrylic and I got the measurements for the box that I wanted. This box is actually a little bit bigger than the other box that we, um, had in the shop. It also has a little feetsies and then it has the name. So, but it's very, very, it's really nice. Okay. So these are also being made. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So. So like maybe for September, we can have a lot of fun sales as well. And we can do all of the saving challenges together. Okay. Now, speaking of all of that, here's a great page for you guys to use. You have yearly and you have goals. So this is, this is like the area where you can list out some of the things that you want to do per month. Like you have this box here, you can be creative. You can add some stickers and you can use a highlighter. So it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot, so then it could be a lot of fun to more, use these pages and, and decorate with these two pages. Um, so this is mainly for like your goals and you know, you can even use them for your, um, your uh, affirmation. You can actually use them for your affirmations, anything that you want to be creative. This is your budget planner. So, okay, so let's just say, okay, you're all set with these pages. Um, I love this page as well. And then you have your note pages. So you have your note pages and then you also have the task list. So that's where I was trying to say is that like, look at all these note pages. This is a great area for you to list out all the things that you have to do or that you want to do. You can even use this page here because it has like your little circle dots and just list out the things that you need to do. You can either do it for the month or you can do it just for in general as whatever comes to your mind, list everything that you have to do and um, work towards it. It's so satisfying to check off your list and you know to show that you completed it. I want to go through some of the pages. These are some questions um, that I had recently. So I'm gonna answer some of the questions for you on the budget planner. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. You have the month on two pages for a reason. So the month on two pages is just that it makes it you so you can have a larger overview of the month and the reason why you need that larger overview is because you need to list out your paydays you need to list out all of your um birthdays and holidays and most importantly your bills so you have to list everything out here okay you have to have that visual here yes you are doing the same thing so this is your month on one page this is your bill tracker this is your month on one page and you can use some dot stickers or you can even use a highlighter and you can list out the bills. So you're listing out your bills in the order that they are due. Over here you can use, like I said, a highlighter, you can use stickers, um, but this is a great overview. So you can see, um, like if you get paid weekly, you can see all of the bills that are due during that week. If you get paid bi-weekly, you could see all of the bills that are due bi-weekly. So it, you have that overview again, and then you're kind of working over here so you can see what's what you need to pay. It's just, I just love these two pages. I think, I think they're just, they're so helpful because you're like looking right, instead of you going like this and having to flip back, you legit have your month on one page, you're listing out your bills so you can actually still see everything that is due on this page over here. 
So an expense tracker is you can list out all the expenses that you spend for the day. So if you, you just, you're going to use your date, you know, you put your date. So like if it's today and you went to five different places, list it. Today's date, where you went, today's date. This is truly a great way to look back and take a look at all the things that you did spend money on. So this is a definitely needed for people who just start. Now, if you use the cash envelope system, the budget insert that goes with the cash envelopes is a great way to keep track. So using those cards for those six categories and keeping track on the card, you know what I mean, is, is a great way. So you don't have to do it twice, but let's say if you haven't started your cash envelope system yet and you want to use this, that's great. Okay, so sinking funds is the same. So you're gonna list out all of your sinking funds for you know the month and you're listing them out. And this this is the reason why you have so many lines here is because you might be using money. So let's just say you have emergency fund, you have your beginning balance, okay, you have a thousand dollars. Now I need it. So now you're gonna come down here, you're gonna write emergency, what you started with, minus how much you need, what's left. And you're gonna list all your sinking funds. Maybe you have the grandkids, maybe you have vacation or rainy day. It, same goes, so that's why it's so long because you could, you, you're could using the money. Okay, maybe vacation, you went, you used a little bit of money, but vacation, you used uh, $50 uh, for gas, you didn't have enough. So you took it out, now you got paid, you added more money, now you're adding the money back. So you have the lines there for these reasons. It's because you're taking money or adding money. Some people don't even need to do that, but you might have 30 sinking funds that you use every week, one way or another, whether it's bills or fun stuff that you're setting money aside for. It's just having the lines here is, you know, it's good because you have enough space. Um, so this saving tracker is specifically for like one account. So and you could be creative and you can use it for more if you want. So like you could do to today's date, you can say American Eagle, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You can say American Eagle, it's deposit or withdrawal, what your balance is. So this tracker is made for just one account. It's not made for multiples. So for example, maybe the savings tracker that you're using, maybe you want to use this as a furniture. Maybe you're saving for a car. Maybe you're saving for a down payment on your house. It's just one, then you have two. So you have two here. So it's, it's basically you have two pages for the month. So they're saving trackers for something specific that you're saving for. Now the credit card tracker, this is all of them. So it's more than one. So now you have a credit card tracker and you can list out all the due dates. You can list out all of the credit cards that you have to um, pay, what the due date is, what the entrance balance do. So this is made for like all. It's made for all of your cards. You list them all out every month. Now again, this is a debt tracker. So the debt tracker um, looks like this the savings tracker should have kind of been set up a little bit like this, but the debt tracker again is for one, well actually two, so you have one here and one here. So you're not listing all of your debts. Um, you can if you wanna write things in and you wanna block this off and you wanna be creative, you could do what you want, but it's made for one. So you wanna do debt name, okay, maybe it's student loans. You wanna list out all the information. So every week you're gonna, you pay it off. Yeah, I know you might be saying, well, we only have four weeks in a month. Why do we have so many lines? Well, maybe you do Instacart after work. Maybe you babysit. Maybe you make extra money doing lawn care <laughs> twice a week. How do I know what you have for pay? So maybe you get paid every week or bi-weekly, but maybe you have another job where you get additional monies. So that's where you would add these pages, okay? So the paycheck tracker is just that, it's a paycheck tracker. So this is what is going to break down your paycheck. And even though this, these spots are here, it doesn't mean that you have to use it. So if you don't have money for this month, uh, this pay period to put money on your debt or your sinking funds, then you don't have to. But the options are here for you if you need it. And so then we just want to make this planner very, very user friendly and very, just very simple. It's really straight to the point. So you can 
list out your bills, what's due, what needs to be paid, what I wanna focus on for my credit cards, what I wanna save for, for my savings, or maybe I wanna pay off my student loan. It's very simple and straight to the point. You even have a task list with the little dots. You have a savings challenge thermometer. You even have the habit tracker, and they have four no pages. And then it just goes to the next month, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I hope I answered your question um, on kind of what the pages are used for. Usually I like to write in the pages and show you a little bit more, but we are out of time right now. The, um, what was I gonna say? I need to get home so I can get home a little bit early so I can start cooking dinner. But I think we covered everything. I just want you guys to not forget that they are 50% off today, okay? Um, tomorrow we're gonna be doing the cash stuffing video. Um, take a look at the website. Take a look at what we have to offer. I know that sometimes people just don't have the time and they might not know what I have. So maybe you're looking for something specific. So just take some time and look around. Again, follow me on Instagram as well because like I said in my stories, I have stuff that automatically goes out for each day. So we're gonna also start the, oh, product of the day. Is that what I said? Yeah, it's going to be called the product of the day. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know in the comments below if you had started your decluttering of the kitchen or the closet or whatever. Just let me know if you guys started your decluttering. I'd love to hear about it. Um, I hope you have an amazing night. Bye for now.